Town. Good day and a pleasant welcome to the podium. Live on the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation, I am Victor. for the resignation of Inspector General, Chief Justice, and Chief Electoral Commissioner as a result of findings in the European Union Election Fact-Finding Report recommendations. I entreat you to participate on the program this afternoon by sending your text messages to 088-373-504, as you usually do, or drop your comments on our Facebook page at SLBC Channel 41. I am Victor Jones and this is the podium. The main opposition, All People's Congress Party, has at a press conference at their party's head office at Railway Line demanded the resignation of the leadership of Sierra Police, Judiciary, and National Electoral Commission. According to the APC Party, the country is witnessing an unprecedented and systematic decline in the country's democratic and peace building games. According to Secretary General Ambassador Dr. Usman Yansale, since the government came into power, their party has raised concerns over and protested on the dramatic decline in the country's democratic peace and human rights credentials. The party pointed out issues of the integrity of the leadership of NEC, the Syrian police and judiciary in the re-electionary process and cited the European Union report as a clear indication that these electoral bodies need a change in leadership. Well, this afternoon I have Ali Conte, Secretary General, Youth League, All People's Congress. Good day, welcome to the podium. Good day, my friend. I have Imran Sila, Strategic Media Comms Unit, Ministry of Information and Communication. Good day. Thanks uh, for the opportunity not to be here. Well, so I'll kick the ball rolling with you, Ali. Yeah. The issues are many. So significantly, which ones are you targeting? Yeah, honestly speaking, I mean, um, uh, we started the press conference that was called yesterday by the APC National Secretary General and the leadership of the party. I mean, um, uh, issued out a compendium of issues since the, 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 the president, the old led government, was um, ushered into governance in 2018. You know, we started um, the press conference by highlighting most of the unconstitutional actions that um, be, that have been undertaken by this. And which government. are some of these? Yes, yeah, some of the the, the, the the issues highlighted are as follows: right, um, the unconstitutional and um, unprofessional behavior of um, the Sierra Leone police that led to the uh, removal of um, our members of parliament doing the uh, elections of the, the the speaker of parliament right and then from there on um the Aba election was conducted at um world 196 don't call him by chief um, we are in um a lot of irregularities we are highlighted by the apc then even though some of these irregularities were presented to the appropriate authorities neck most of those um irregularities we are not looked at i mean going forward most of the actions that has been undertaken by the SLPP. The APC as uh, the main opposition political party has been calling on the government, especially the president, to see that certain actions are being taken. Right? But normally what we see the SLPP government has been doing is that whenever you call on them to obey or go by the dictates of the constitution, they will tell you that so APC be done do. I mean, if your government was ushered in as a result of change, I mean, you are expected not to behave in the same manner that the you are, that, that you are accusing the previous government of the so like I said the issues are many the tongue calling bar the unconstitutional removal of our ten members of parliament the AP 
NDC filed in 32 petition cases against the SLPP, the judiciary, the, the, the SLPP cases were assigned to, 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 to magistrates and we are looked into, verdicts passed, and our members of parliament were unconstitutionally removed. Why the 32 petition cases of the APC were, have never been assigned to, to, to magistrates, right? And going forward also, we saw an unprecedented action by this particular government following by elections, right? Like I said, Tom Kolimba, Kailan by election, co constituency. Yes, like you look at um, Tom Kolimba, um, the, the elections were conducted in tw uh, September 12, 2018 by the National Electoral and that uh, that decision had to be taken. Somehow they failed in their responsibilities. Some they failed. failed. Uh, well, the stakeholders in Makini, quite clearly, they failed, and uh, those commitments they made, I mean, came to naught in the end, right? And so uh, uh, they used, chose to do something else because they have been influenced strongly. Come to every single one of those instances, whether it be it's in Tumbo and every other place. Uh, I mean, I find it uh, amusing, and only Ali can explain this, as to why they have uh, disregarded right, the factors influencing, right, rather than focusing on just pure politics. Right? This is about Sierra Leone, it's about national development, it's about peace and cohesion. Yeah? His Excellency the President right, is interested right, in bringing this country together, and I suspect that should be the objective of any political party, whether in opposition or in government, and not to poke the bear, if you will. So what we find the APC doing time and again and again and again right, is to have these nuances, suggesting that uh, uh, everything is about to, to, to be on fire. Right, and, and, and people have to be very careful and all the rest of it. So that's one side to it. Let us come to the E report. And this is, I think, is government's position. Uh, number one, we understand and welcome the relationship and the partnership they'll have with the European Union, uh, like every other international organization. Right? Those uh, relationships have been there for the longest time, and we acknowledge that. Uh, the European Union also understand that uh, this is not the only country they've involved in. And I'm sure they have it enough in the record and in the history to know and understand that it's not, it is not in every single instance that a nation state has agreed with them hmm? on fundamental issues, right? There are bound to be differences, there are bound to be misunderstanding. That is why, I mean, at uh, the United Nations, His Excellency the President expressed his disappointment. What did he mean by that, disappointment? Uh, disappointment meant in that particular in this particular instance that uh, uh, he would like to engage he felt frustrated by those findings because uh, we have now heard from civil society organizations right on radio tv stations suggesting that they were not part of this, those discussions and that they had discussions yes with the opinion team mm, but uh, it was not as far reaching right as i'm trying to suggest number one second uh, we would appreciate and, and uh, you know and that's that should be the essence of any of any interaction and engagement with international institutions, that uh, it has to be scientifically based. So, for example, when we talk about free quality education and the amount of uh, students we're covering, uh, you see it contained in the MCC scorecard, yeah? with, the, with the science, the data, and the statistics right, to prove a point, and that is why we continue to have our ratings right, on things like access to education, on things like uh, the fight against corruption and good governance, and so on and so forth. So we are encouraging the European Union to, to please show us the differences here. Yeah? And, and, and I, I don't think that there's any harm in that. Yeah? If they have done the investigations and consultations, we would expect that uh, naturally what should fall be, okay, this is what uh, we have observed, this is our findings, look at the science, look at the data, look at the statistics, uh, and it should be available to all. In any case, in any case, contrary to what Ali has just said, what the European Union has issued out, issued out is not a report. They have done a holding statement. Yeah? So it is a holding statement that would, 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 would I mean that... Uh, so is it that you're, dis you're blatantly disregarding the scientific nature of the EU report? Well, uh, not, not disregarding. There's none in the holding report that came, in the holding statement that came out. There's nothing to suggest uh, where there's references. So there was fact in the EU report we are concocted. According to um, not um, I mean, that, that would be a strong word to use against an institution like the European Union. Mm. But suffice it is to say that as a government, I think we would it would help us, right, if, if we could benefit from those data and statistics. Yeah, and, and, and that is what His Excellency the President spoke to, and that is what we're looking forward to. In any case, we know that uh, 
the interface and communication gap is still open right, between the government of Sierra Leone and the European Union and we hope, we hope and look forward to this moment where we would have an opportunity to engage them and understand exactly uh, where that holding statement came from, what are the facts, where's the science, where's the data, where's the statistics. So if not for anything, it would help government to understand exactly, I mean, how to address those issues. I mean, uh, coming back to the APC press release, I mean, several issues have, have come up with regards to NERC and the police and all the rest of it. And, you know, I don't hold any brief for NERC or the police as an institution, you know. Uh, uh, he's to the president believes in, in the independence of these institutions, right? And I'm sure we've had better representatives time and again speaking on those issues, including the judiciary. But let me say this, like, for example, with the judiciary, that uh, uh, we have seen, I mean, an expansion of justice across the country. We now have districts, uh, magistrates in each and every district across the country, I've had the case before. Now we now have uh, specialized uh, uh, courts, if you like, on things like gender and sexual based violence and, you know, and other things, so as to, to help to quicken and speed up the process. The essence, I believe, is, is, is driven by uh, several reports, right, in the past contained in EU reports and uh, several other reports about now uh, the need for access to, to justice right across the country, not just in, in, in regional, I mean, uh, place, headquarter towns, but al also in districts. And, and, and we see uh, deliberate and, and, and conscientious efforts by the judiciary in spreading out, making sure that magistrates are in each and every single district, and so you don't have magistrates having to call five, six districts at a point in time, and that would ultimately mean that certain cases would be left for months and ending without being attended to. So here's the point for me. I would appreciate if uh, the APC can, can stop the politics, right? This is about I mean, elections uh, in 2023, they are there about. Uh, they would have an opportunity to make their case to the people of this country, and obviously, the people of this country would have an opportunity to choose right between the Tyler Brigade of Smarter Bill and their presidential candidate, whoever that may be. We feel quite confident, right, with the way we're governing the country, and that is why the MCC scorecard continues to, to encourage us to do more. Right? And we want to be focused on, on what the issues are. It's about national development, it's about the 7.5 million people in this country. Ultimately, and I hope that at some point opposition parties like the APC will come to terms with the fact and wait for elections when they come and not play politics at each and every given point. Indeed, for a legitimate reason, the proportion in which the security forces will, 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 will meet those protesters is not conventional to what is what has been happening. It's not so, uh, yeah, it is it is irrational. Mm -hmm. You know, protest has has, uh, has taken place at Bo. We saw the action of the Sierra Leone police or the security forces. Um, protest has happened with regards to lock at Skylaw. We saw the reaction of the Sierra Leone police. I mean, trying to to what down. The reports of the European Union. So I mean, it's 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 it is in the first first have we should my brother, the issues highlighted by the APC, this government cannot that they are finding it very difficult to defend some of these things. The unlawful arrest, like having a public official going through the anti corruption act of two thousand and eight amended by this amended by the APC government. The, a public officer using his office to manipulate or to seek an advantage illegally, that particular act is a corrupt act. Here is Paul Damba, a NEC official who was caught sampling, changing figures in order to change or to skew the, the, the opinion of the people at um, Koinadugu. This individual is a free man. But let's say the, the, uh, the uh, um, APC, uh, some youths were arrested at um, Koinadugu inside the premises of uh, the active district chairman Koinadugu. Those guys are still in detention. They are facing tears. And people were arrested. People were caught. Uh, um, government officials were I saw, you know, even the phone, the, the, the mobile phones of new officers who, who videoed uh, 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 the, 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 the violence being perpetrated by government officials during the, the, the 